Welcome back. Uh, last time I had found a note thingy. And this thing. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander who helped their fathers and grandfathers to found this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away, while I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish. Huh. Bear hunts me from the other side. I, I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and he and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he is, and has been for centuries, my only link to the worlds beyond. Wire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give him a grip of first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of. I have seen their deception. Optimism is the most helpless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Wire told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tempter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort of thing. Uh, uh, well, for this sort. Blech. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. Vitae should be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tempter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's property of the secretion in the water dwelling. I will have to address Wire with this, as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Okay. They're making up words. And into the choir for the uh, paralyzer thing. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating, as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. Ah, there's candles! It's romantic! I'm ready to get back up. Thank you. Tinder Gotcha. There's a note. That's all there is in here, looks like. Just a note. Fifteenth of August, eighteen thirty nine. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry, no time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Ah, 
<laughs> okay. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Take the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Please, I didn't do anything. Paint the man, cut the lines. Paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah, now you sleep. I did well. One life for another. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain! Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Famous last words. That's just unnecessary. That is totally unnecessary. And down into the choir. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Monsters in here. Let's follow along the walls. Follow along the walls. Follow along the walls. down frame rate ah. the wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure they can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across tying limbs to the spokes and rim all tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. 
The human body is much more resilient. If they can survive orb. for days until they finally hmm. succumb. I guess I'm out of oil. My lantern. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent. So the rope secured around his leg stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly, and took a hammer and struck the victim's chest in a final act of mercy. frame rate. Out into the darkness again. Follow along the walls. Follow along the walls. Hide in the corner and stay still. It's perfectly dark in here. Crouch. Just staying still. Not looking at the monsters. If I can't see them, they can't see me, right? Right? Well, it really worked before, but maybe it'll work this time. Maybe. Out there, I know you're out there. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Oh well. <laughs> Still got the piece of the orb and whatnot. Still got the choir entrance. So I'm guessing this is as good a place as I need to stop. And I'll see you guys next time.